you've ever read the novel 1984, uh, there's a phenomenon called Room 101, which is sort of the ultimate torture chamber in which the authorities, the, the torturers, know through elaborate surveillance what your worst nightmare is, and they visit it upon you. It varies from person to person. The worst thing in the world varies from individual to individual. Uh, it could be anything like drowning, castration, watching someone you love suffer, uh, watching someone you love being raped or being raped yourself or whatever. It's just the worst thing that can possibly happen to you, whatever your scale is. Whatever your version of the worst thing in the world is, that is what you will face in that room. Now, we have two victims and two separate Room 101s. Okay? We have two people who are going to be tortured, each in their own separate way. Um, they're going to be faced with the worst thing in the world. I just don't want to go into detail, because it's kind of foul when you think about it, but let's just say that they are each being tortured in the way that they themselves consider the worst thing in the world. And all that each one has to do to end the torture is to say a particular word, like stop now, or whatever, whatever your sort of quote-unquote ghoulish safe word is in this scenario, and then you are put out of your misery. You are painlessly executed. Two victims, two separate Room 101s, two people being tortured in the worst possible way. The torturing takes place concurrently, simultaneously. A stopwatch is started the second the torture begins. The victims have no communication with each other. They don't know that there are two people going, uh, being tortured in exactly the same way. They don't know there's two room 101s. But the torturers do, and they are in real-time contact with each other. The torturers will stop torturing both people the second one person succumbs and blurts out the safe word and be killed. We would assume that even if by just a matter of seconds, one victim will outlast the other. Two people being tortured in identical fashions, even though the actual details of the torture might be different, probably will be, but they're both being put to the ultimate test. Assuming that one person breaks before the other and is killed, and the other person is then treated for their trauma and released, or whatever. It's just suddenly, it's stopped. What reasons, and there might be millions of them, but that's really the point. What reasons can we give for one person lasting longer than another? in identical circumstances. Two people in extremis, one person lasts even if just a second longer than the other, and that's long enough um, to be released from the torture while the other person is now dead. Why does one person last longer than another? Again, no conclusive answer required, just a lot of possible answers. This is probably going to have to be several videos, but I thought I'd just set the stage.